Hello, my name is Andrew Wilkinson, and today we're going to look at creating account codes. Account codes are numeric codes that can be appended to an interaction in order to identify it. First off, numeric. These do not have some kind of a string associated with them that's a name. These are only numeric, so you have to know what those numbers correlate to. Also, an example of this would be marking an interaction as being from a specific client, for example. All right, and perhaps you are a support agency, and depending on what client is calling you, you want to see how much total time you spend on the line with each company that you provide support with. You could create an account code and map it to each call that you received from that company and see how long you're with them. Another good example of that is perhaps if you are working with a lawyer and they bill by the minute and you want to be able to mark the call to see exactly how long you were on with the lawyer. So knowing how to quickly create an account code can allow an organization to quickly and easily gain added depth to reporting. You can have reports that show how long you spent on calls from a specific client. How would you know that it was that specific client? Because you had an account code associated with it. Or you can perhaps find out that your lawyer billed you wrong because you can see how long they were in the system. So it has many potential uses and it's a very powerful tool. Okay, before we jump into the product, I just wanna stress a few key points about account codes. So first off, they are created in the account codes configuration container. So that's the top level container you can find in the interaction administrator tree. There is a one-to-one -one mapping of account codes to interactions. So account codes can only be assigned, there can only be one account code assigned to a single call, for example. You can change it, but then that call will only be associated to the account code that you've changed it to. All right, there can only be one to one. When an account code is assigned to a call, that is the account code associated with it. If you change it, that is the account code associated with it. There's no record that there was another one before it. So. It is a one-to-one -one mapping of account codes to interactions. These account codes are only numeric, as I mentioned in the last slide. And finally, a rookie mistake that people make is they create the account code, but they do not enable them in the account codes configuration container. Once you've done all this, it's a simple task to then go create them. So we'll dive into the product. Okay, here we are in the account codes configuration. Now. This is the top level tree, as I said. We have to go down one to account codes to create one. Creating one is as simple as cl clicking the plus button or hitting control N. And then we have a code, hence the term account code. So we, the code is the numeric digit. This is what you have to select in order to create one. So we'll create one for 111. We can give it a description. Now, the description isn't used to assign it. The code is but we could give it a description and you see we can search on description up top so that would help us find them and be able to more intuitively configure them in here so we'll say that this account code is lawyer and really nothing else is needed for a simple and basic account code configuration and we have created it now my last bullet point after creating it or perhaps even before you go to the account codes configuration, you must select this unassuming checkbox to enable account codes. If you don't, then they will not be enabled. You will not see them anywhere. So make sure that you have done this. When you're done, be sure to save. Finally, one last thing that I would like to mention is they are also determined whether or not they are seen by um, going under, for example, for the user Adam Gonzalez. He will not be able to see account codes unless you go under security and you go to access control. You can go to all here, account codes. If he does not have the permission to view that specific account code or all of them, whichever is most usable, then even though it is enabled, it still will not work. So that's food for thought. That's another common mistake. Okay, well, we've created an account code. Thank you so much for attending this just-in-time video short, and please check out the others. There's a wealth of information we have provided.